everyone hey family how you doing welcome 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 thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me my name is Nichelle Womack and I am a life transition strategist I help the dreamers the aspiring and the new business owners transition in their life with information and inspiration to start market and grow into the CEO I've been the CEO of my own company for over 20 years I've worked in corporate America for over 20 20 years but most importantly I've been the CEO of me for the last two and ten years and that means no J-O-B <laughs> yes just enjoying me enjoying life and just doing what I need to do welcome hey tax rim John how you doing welcome 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 thank you for taking time out of your wonderful day morning afternoon evening wherever you are I greatly appreciate each and every one of you for coming in my space and taking time to come in to see me share I greatly appreciate you. Pray it's been a great day, a great Tuesday, Testimony Tuesday. Welcome, Lyrical Forte. Hey, 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 John, how you doing? Welcome, how you doing? Tax season over, are you starting over again? Hey, from Boston, how are you? Welcome welcome everyone thank you for taking time out of your day I pray you're staying cool it's one of those hot days but I said why complain it's summertime it's supposed to be hot but it's like hundred and five degrees with the heat index today so I am trying to stay hydrated and um, when you're in the Sun you got to make certain that you get some lotion on because this brown does tan and I have to make certain of that because I peel very quickly and I burn quickly and oh my god just another another scope there <laughs> <laughs> I pray everybody's had a great day. Today, I'm going to be talking about the missing link to your success. Yes, if you are one of those individuals who hasn't necessarily found out what your gift is because all of us have gifts how you doing I think that says Ailey 981 all of us have gifts thank you for those beautiful beautiful green hearts I greatly appreciate you and what I found in working with some clients is that they don't know what their gifts are those purple hearts are pretty too hey how you doing friends I think that's what that says the purple hearts those are beautiful and what I found out is some people don't understand what their gifts are and it's okay because it took me a minute to figure out what my gifts are and I'm still identifying them daily if you are a person that don't know what your gifts are more than likely you have not discovered what they are and I help people discover what their gifts are and then we unwrap them because they're still packaged and then we unwrap them and then I help you share them with the world that's my duty as a transition strategist what does transition mean it means change I help you change your life and I'm so excited hey dr. Herbert how you doing today to be able to help people change their lives so when we talk about change what does that what does that mean change change as I state often is one of the most uncomfortable words of the English language nobody likes to change they like results but they don't like to change and when you think about change it is scary I greatly appreciate all the beautiful hearts if you find this information valuable if you would share it on Twitter with Facebook and your family that you have you're part of my family and I appreciate you sharing me with your family because you know I, I think this is some very very important information and I know in working with people I'm a life teacher and helping people teaching them about life I'm telling you what I've experienced a business owner for over 20 years I uh, worked in corporate America over 20 years and as I mentioned the CEO of me which means no job in the last 10 years I haven't punched a clock and I'm proud to say that and I tell you all the time it hasn't been easy I have cried <laughs> <laughs> I've literally cried and wondered where my next paycheck was coming from but then I realized I wasn't getting a check I realized I wasn't getting a paycheck why because I was writing my own check and my name is stamped on the bottom of it yes <laughs> sharing those gifts the gifts that I had to learn how to unwrap and share them with the world yes hey how you doing once records LLC what's going on with you and so I'm speaking from experience I'm speaking from real talk mm -hmm. because you got to talk the walk you got to walk the talk in order to talk it and walk it you know I mean it's just it just goes like that so I'm talking to you about the missing link to your success today and you know I think life is all about discovery it's about discovering and each and every day I, I learn a new gift that I have that I have yet to unwrap 
but some of them need you know practice we got to practice our gifts some sometimes our gifts they're they're there but we can't identify with them because we haven't practiced and worked on them and so this last month june may june i was on vacation pretty much most of the month and july coming into it you know the the, the middle of the year six months and we look at the quarters, they're passing by. And I said, you know what, before the end of this year, not only am I going to transition in my life, but I'm going to help so many other people do it as well. And so I've been working on this course. I've been working on this course for probably about two years. I teach college students. And all of them tell me all the time, Ms. Womack, you got a gift. And I'm like, okay, well, what is it? <laughs> you tell me what it is, because I know what it is. God is sharing me with it what it is, but I haven't really launched out. I haven't launched out and shared it with those people that need it. And so I got this course that's coming up and I'll be talking more about that tomorrow because it's going to take place on August 1st. That's when it's going to be officially launched. But I'm gonna be carrying you towards the, the destination of where I wanna take you between now and then. So each and every day uh, that I'm on throughout the day and I haven't really set a time. I know I used to come on at 8.30 in the morning then I come on at 8.30 in the evening, but life has happened. Life has been busy and life has been wonderful. Yes, yes, building, building, building. You must always be in the building part process welcome how are you Riley to you you must always be in that building process and so the car course will launch on August 1st and like I said I will be proceeding and carrying you towards that way because I know it's going to help a lot of people and I've kind of done like a beta test with some students and they're like Miss Womack we didn't pay thousands of dollars for this and you're giving us this for that and I'm like yeah because I want to see if it works because I know it's going to work because it's helped me. As I mentioned, I've been in business over 20 years. I'm not talking to you from a lack of experience. I'm talking to you as a life teacher from experience and then education. You know, with an MBA in business, a BA in business, concentrations in leadership and in management and working on a PhD, I'm authorized from the most high, first of all, the most high <laughs> God. And I want to be able to give that information to other people through inspiration and motivation and encouragement with education tapped in with it. You can't beat that, you can't beat it. So let's talk about those things that are not potentially blocking you from your success because only you can block yourself from success. Nobody else can. You know, you gotta set it up in your mind. Thank you for those beautiful hearts. I greatly appreciate you. You know, we gotta set up in our mind. We gotta set success up in our mind. And it all starts from the mind. People will tell you that, you know, it's a lot of other things. It starts from action, starts from the mind, because what you tell yourself, you start believing it, and then you start acting on it. So if you tell yourself every morning when I get up, I'm going to be a success today, yes, you will. Yes, you will. I guarantee you. Yes, you will. Thank you for those beautiful hearts. So let's talk about the missing link. What is that missing link? I appreciate you more. Yes, I do. I appreciate you more for being in my space, for being a part of my family. Yes, I do. And I don't take anything in life for granted because when you start taking things for life for granted, that means, that literally means that you're not giving recognition to the most high who has delivered them to you. And all the delivery and the gifts that I've been given, I believe that we must share them and we must be, we must reciprocate what we've received. And I've paid over a hundred thousand dollars in education. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even think it's worth it. <laughs> There's hundred thousand dollars in education that I still owe. But I appreciate the gifts and the nuggets that I've received throughout the process. Because in life you must continue to educate yourself. So let's talk about what may be the missing link to your success. You know, it may not be for each and every one of you, but somebody is missing these things, and it starts with you. A dream written down with a date becomes a goal when was the last time you wrote your dreams down when was the last time that you visualized those dreams when was the last time that you said I'm gonna put this into action and make it happen a dream written down with a date becomes a goal see so many times we write things down thank you for those beautiful hearts so many times we write things down but we don't put a date next to it okay a date because what does that date do that date gives you accountability it gives you accountability to say by this time on August 1st, I've already given myself accountability by August 1st, this class will be launched. Okay, that date next to that goal gives you accountability. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining in Wakes 27. And so keep that in mind. If you have any goals, if there's no date next to them, they're going to fall by the wayside. Go back towards those goals and put a date next to them and then hold yourself accountable to making that date a reality 
a dream written down becomes with a date becomes a goal so that's the only way literally you're gonna have goals if it's a date next to them and it's written down number two a goal broken down into steps becomes a plan what is that plan if it's to write a book to start a business to get married to travel the world a goal broken down into steps becomes a plan. That's how you start a business. And that's what I'm going to be teaching you. It becomes a plan. We got to keep that focus. A plan. A plan cannot go anywhere if you do not execute. And so when we're talking about those goals broken down into steps, it becomes a plan. You can start identifying. Why? Because they have a date next to them. They're broken down into steps. You can start identifying with your goals. The next one, number three, a plan backed by action makes your dreams come true remember what i said earlier you know we talk about goals we talk about things that we want to do but we never execute with them we never put them into action and i say this and i'm gonna keep saying it for the rest of my life faith without action is dead i talk to a lot of christians i talk to a lot of people who are faith believers they say well i'm just gonna faith it mm -hmm. keep on faith in it because it's written and if you don't believe it or know it Evidently, you don't believe it because it says without action, it's dead. You can have all the faith in the world and you can know that God is going to bring you through and to. But if you don't put action behind that faith, it goes nowhere. So listen, a plan backed by action comes true. Makes your dreams come true. And we all have dreams, we all have aspirations, and we all have desires. But if you don't act upon them, it means nothing. It means nothing at all. So I want to give you these three things that you got to do in your life in order to recover from that missing link. In order to add the pieces to that missing link so that it's whole. You know, it's no sense of walking around pieces of your life. We want to make a whole life because a whole life is worth living. A whole life is worth sharing. A whole life is worth documenting. And a whole life is worth talking about. A whole life. You got to give some sacrifice. Too many of us want it easy. And I tell you what, in working on this PhD, I found that life ain't easy. You know, last night, <laughs> I got to bring this up. Last night, mm, plagiarism. You know, saying the words of other people. If you admire somebody, you got to give them credit. Yes, you needed this. Praise God, John. Praise God. You know, we got to give people credit where credit is due. And we must acknowledge, we must acknowledge that our first lady, Mrs. Michelle Obama, is an absolutely fabulous woman. And she comes with credentials from Harvard University. She comes with credentials from a background like many of ours. You know, and I must say that I totally admired Mrs. Trump's speech. I totally admired her poise. I totally, totally admired her beauty. And I totally admired... The woman that she stands for from what i know i don't know too much except what they've shared with us but to be criticized with plagiarizing something that isn't yours means that you haven't done enough work you didn't do enough work to get those accolades you didn't do enough work so i know i'm working in this phd because if you are working towards something and if you don't give the work that you've done to achieve this they will strip you of it you can't get a PhD plagiarizing. It got to be your work, the hard work. And for most people, it takes seven years before you acquire this. That's what it's taken me. It's taken me seven years to acquire this PhD. So when I put on that cape, I must make you aware. It's not a means of boasting or anything, but it's through hard work and sacrifice that you give to achieve your dreams. I'm going to walk around proud. You know, and I don't expect to be called Dr. Nichelle, but actually I do. <laughs> All the work, yeah, yeah. You know, your accolades, what you work for, what you strive to achieve. You know, that's something that you can, nobody can take your knowledge from you. They can take you and strip everything from you, but they cannot strip your knowledge that you work for, that you pay for. Okay, <laughs> that's bottom line. You pay for that paper. Yes, you do. You pay for it. I know because I'm a recipient of it, over $100,000. You pay for that paper. And so let's talk about those things, that sacrifice. Whatever it is that you want in life, you must sacrifice. You must work hard. You must be diligent. You must be so focused that people think you are crazy because you are so focused in on your dreams. Nobody should be able to deter you from them. Nobody should. No matter what goes on in your life, because believe me, life is going to happen. Life is going to happen. And you're going to ask why. 
Why? Why not? Why not it happen? Because that strength that you get from that struggle will push you further. It should. That strength that you get from that struggle should push you further. The next thing that you must understand is that you got to have faith. You know, that sacrifice, that struggle, and that faith will take you far in life. That sacrifice, that struggle, and that faith will take you far in life. And once you recognize those principles aligned with the goals that you have written down with a date, with a date, okay? Because you understand those steps that you are putting in place or is becoming a plan. And then you recognize that your actions, your actions will make your dreams come true. Your actions will make your dreams come true. Thank you so much for tuning in, all of those that have come in. My name is Nichelle Womack, and I am a life transition strategist. What does transition mean? Transition means change. I help you change your life. Because, see, there's a lot of dreamers around here. I know I used to be one. I used to be one. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be this when I grow up. Oh, I'm going to be this. I want to be like that. I want to, you know, dreaming. You know, dreaming gets you some places. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Dreaming gets you some places. Yes, it does, because you have to have a dream. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. You know, so you must dream. But then you have to aspire. You have to aspire to get to that next level. That aspiration. That aspiration to achieve the dreams that you set in place. The aspiration. That desire. Because you can't get nowhere without aspiration and desire. You know, but then that new person, that new person has stepped out on faith and said, I'm going to make this happen regardless what society has told me based on the complexion of my skin, based on my disabilities, based on my lack of, I'm going to do it anyway. And so I help the dreamers, the aspiring and the new business owners. You came in late, but thank you. PhD in human behavior and development. They work hand in hand with business. <laughs> yes, ma'am. They work hand in hand with business. And I didn't realize that until I started taking those classes. That psychology and business have a lot to do with each other. Why? Because business, you have to understand people when you're working with people. And you have to understand the psychological aspects behind their motives and their actions and what they do. Why do people buy? All those things. I'm learning that. Learning it every day. Yes, thank you so much. You can relate. Yes. <laughs> thank you, because I love relating with people who can relate what I'm talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. Mm -mm. And so that's so disrespectful. Mm, yeah. But thank you so much for those hearts. I greatly appreciate you. Yes. And so we have to realize that we are capable and able to do anything. Yes, you are. You are capable and able to do anything that you set your mind to. But you got to be willing able and ready. A ready person is always available for goals and opportunities that come towards them. You got to be ready. You got to live ready. You got to be ready. You got to think ready. You got to eat ready, sleep ready. Yes. I don't get much sleep. I stay up all night. I don't be on scoping or nothing. I be up reading. I be up doing my homework most of the time or spending time with my family. You got to give yourself time to rest. You got to give yourself time to think about what it is you want to accomplish. You know, life is only short if you're not living. And so I want to be able to help those dreamers, those aspiring, and those new people that are jumping out on faith, those new business owners, those new life jumpers who are looking to transition in their life with inspiration and motivation and the encouragement of information to take you to that next level. You can reach me at 2excelwithnichelle.com. I'm also available at nichellewomack.com. If you are seeking daily inspiration and motivation, connect with me on Instagram at Nichelle Womack as well as Twitter. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. You are awesome. Hello, how are you? Welcome. Thank you for coming in. I greatly appreciate those, those hearts. If you are not connected with me and you would like to be a part of my family, see you later. I greatly appreciate you, Marley. You would like to be a part of my family. Connect with that little Perry dude down there. I like you too. <laughs> yes, I love everyone. You should love. Yes, love yourself first. You can't love nobody else until you love yourself and then when you love yourself, share with other people. If the world had more love, where would we be? We would be an awesome community. Yes, we would. Building people up. That's what we should do. Build people up. Because when you build, the more people you build up, the 
more you build yourself up. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, so I thank each and every one of you. And may everything you touch turn to gold. And may you be blessed and highly favored wherever you are in your life. And may you continue to change. May you continue to transition in your goals in life. And stay tuned. I will be showing, sharing more about my class. And as I mentioned, if you're one of those dreamers, amen. If you're one of those aspiring and if you're one of those people that want to start a business, stay tuned to me. I greatly appreciate you. Take care, everyone. Got to go and help more people. I look forward to connecting with you very soon. Be blessed and highly favored in everything that you do. Thank you for those hearts. Thank you for the shares. And I'll talk with you soon. Be blessed. Bye-bye.